that oxygen is essential and vital for sustaining life, but did you also know that air passageway health affects your performance in bed, your ability to exercise, your success at work, and your mental focus? Hi, I'm John. And I'm Kathleen, and today let's open up your airways with the Mayo Clinical Grade Essential Oils. John, which oils are good for opening up the airways? Well, there's a lot of great oils that a lot of people have used and tried. And one thing that you can do is try each of these as single oils or put them together. One oil that I love is tea tree oil, very powerful. Eucalyptus globulus is really good for uh, opening up the lower lungs. Eucalyptus radiata is really good for opening up the upper lungs. Tea tree, again, really powerful if you're using that with other oils, mixing them together and layering them. Um, because that also opens up the vessels and allows the other oils to move in with it, or move into it. Rosemary is very powerful. Frankincense is very, very powerful for the lungs, as well as cypress. Now, you can use all of these oils on their own, but if you put them together, they're extremely powerful. These oils, including some other oils, are found in our soothing air blend. So it's a blend that's put together. You don't have to think about it too much or do too much research. It just works for you. That's wonderful. I love the blends. It works for me, so I don't have to guess. Those are some of my favorite oils for the clinic, too. It really uh, settles down the patients. They love with the how their air breathing is going, and so they're nice and relaxed. But how would you suggest using some of these oils to get the maximum benefits? Well, good, great question. I uh, Because it's the respiratory system, the first thing you got to do, of course, you got to breathe it in. Breathe it in deeply. So you can put some drops in your hands and breathe them in deeply that way. You can also take them, what I do is I put them on my chest anytime I'm dealing with anything respiratory. When you put it on your chest, you get the benefit of the oils going up and you're breathing that in deeply, but it also passes through and works directly on the lungs, which can be very, very powerful. You can also rub uh, on your back and that will help to put it through and onto the bottom of your feet. That will help as well. Uh, one way that I like to use it is I will take uh, boiling water and pour it into another bowl so it's not boiling anymore. And then I'll put some oils on top of that, some soothing air on top of that, and I'll take a towel drape it over my head and then I get that steam, right? And it's not super hot, don't do that while it's boiling over the stove, but after, and then you're getting that heat coming through and it can help break things up and that opens up the airways. In addition, you can also do a hot compress. When you put the oils on your chest, you can then take a hot compress, which is just taking a towel and adding warm water to it or hot water to it and then putting that over the oils and that helps to drive it in deeper into your chest. Those are some of my favorite ideas. I love it. But what about special instructions for children? Well, with children, you want to make sure that you're diluting it. And the safest place to use it with children is always the bottom of their feet. Now, even though it's respiratory, it's still putting it on the bottom of their feet is going to put it through their body and they're going to have benefit. So make sure you're diluting it with a carrier oil and then putting it on the bottom of their feet and that's going through the rest of their body. As they're a little bit older, um, you can start to put it on their chest. And of course, diffusing it is a powerful way that uh, just about any child would be okay with. And it's still getting it in. When you're diffusing it, it's going right to their bloodstream. So that's another powerful way and safe way to use it with children. That's wonderful because children really can benefit from this too. So whether you have a lack of oxygen, respiratory challenges, or you just want to breathe deeper, we challenge you to rub a few drops on your chest and then see how good you feel. I love it. Now, tomorrow we're going to talk about your hand sanitizer. Recent research is showing that it's not doing everything it's supposed to be doing and it may even be doing some damage. So we'll be talking about how to use a Mayo essential oils to boost your immune system. Is it better to be the biggest or be the best? Our Mayo's focus is not being the biggest. We believe best is what really matters. And we've put our money where our mouth is by investing over $10 million in cutting edge research before we even ever launched. Will our quality ever change as we grow? No, because our clinical grade standard is not self-given or a self-created standard. Clinical grade meets or exceeds the quality of essential oils used in third-party peer-reviewed medical research or we don't sell it. You can verify for yourself on every single bottle of R. Mayo's oil by inputting the batch number at rmayodifference.com. Feels good to be the best, wouldn't you agree? Smarter health, brighter future